This episode of the Gentleman's Den is brought to you by shop. That's spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den, where you can get all your Gentleman's Den needs, like shirts and hats and beanies, toques for our Canadian friends. Why the fuck are we whispering? Bro, Dude. say it with conviction. I want to feel, you have such a fire inside of you, and I feel <laughs> like you're just pouring water on it. So Let it... Once again, Burn. that's shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den where you can get all your gentleman's den merch such as t-shirts, hats, buttons, posters. Buttons? There's buttons. What's a hyphen? Buttons. I'll Don't say dash me. as well. How dare her. I want to get pinned. The pin says if I want <laughs> fuck a three-way. If I want to dissipate disappoint two other people i just go to dinner with my parents (laughs) (laughs) and on that note let's play the intro (laughs) (laughs) oh yeah that's right welcome back Gentlemen's Den. I am Sean. And I we, am fucked up. And we got Frankie, Jeff, Kellen, and the the two ladies, Britt and Jeff's lady, Kayla. My lady. Everybody's here. It's Don't a party. Want to introduce uh, <coughs> our uh, our guest today on the microphone? On the ones um, and twos. Actually, it's just on a microphone. All right. <laughs> He's There's a no lover, ones. a friend, an all-around mensch. With a, a mensch. with a very good beard on What's him. What's a mensch? Well. I feel like you just looked right into my fucking soul when you said I that. did. It's kind of creepy. Yeah. <laughs> That's how we roll, though. <laughs> Almost just threw up. Let's get it, bro. Welcome to the fucking chaos. So yeah, we made um we made <laughs> we made Kellen watch uh, the trailer for the new Ghostbusters. What did you think, bro? You pumped or what? I don't think you. Really I didn't see the first one, so. <laughs> what? Wow. See what? No, never watched any of it. Okay, <laughs> get the <laughs> fuck out. <laughs> Let's what? fucking stop this right now. I, how hard do you need? What have we been doing? Slap all night? him. How much time do you? We could have been. You telling me we could have been watching Ghostbusters tonight well, and been, blowing but... your fucking mind? You've never seen the first no. Ghostbuster. Bro, we would have gave you a helmet so it didn't make a mess. Right. I'm no, not cleaning that. <laughs> I'm not cleaning that. Up. Well, uh, wh- oof, fuck it. What'd you think of the trailer? <laughs> no one. You had no idea what's well, going no, on then. It didn't make any sense because I don't know what the hell was going on in the first one. I so. guess, yeah. Well, the nostalgia of the first one, how it was so meaningful as a kid growing up watching that. like the fe- Oh, the feels. Right. It, it gives you all those. And as much this- as... Go ahead. As, as much as I don't want to shit on the woman's version of Ghostbusters, it <laughs> wasn't good. No, uh, I just I don't like how it was written and rushed, and it just uh, it, it, I it felt like they just wanted to make it, so they made it. I didn't it, like they they stole the name of it. I didn't like them like using the the beams as whips. Like it was weird. Yeah, it, yeah. How they redid all the weapons. The, uh, yeah, I'm just. Yeah. It was too cartoonish. I like how the original was kind of like it could be. Real. I mean, sometimes you gotta, you know, throw some <laughs> pasta on the wall and see if it sticks. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Hel- Helmsworth was hilarious in that. Movie. That I that movie I sat through it. I watched it. You know, I was intrigued. But at the end, when he started, like, dancing, that was the only part I enjoyed. I was fucking dying laughing. I just like when he, he was showing up the logos he made, and they were already, <laughs> they were already logos. They were like Taco Bell and <laughs> Pepsi. <laughs> then he did the one with the hot dog on top of the house. Because it could be a ghost eating a hot dog. <laughs> He's hovering above the house. You know it. <laughs> so after I watched this trailer, I had the same feeling after I watched Joker. Like, I was like, oh, I don't know how I feel about it. But then I watched the trailer again and again and again and again. I mean, it's only two minutes long, so I probably watched about 20 times already. <laughs> Just, Just got an hour out. in on the preview. I already watched, like, I already watched a YouTube video, uh, you know. The Easter eggs? Yes. So it's oh, a 20-minute video about a two-minute trailer. 
<laughs> picking out all the stuff. Like I pointed out, you know, the books were stacked just like they were in the library and all kinds of weird fucking shit. But I, I don't know. I was confused after I watched it. I was like, I don't know. And then I watched it again and I was like, I'm pumped for I kind of like where they're going. It's kind of, yeah. it's the afterlife. It's later down the road. It's, I like how it's Egon Spangler. A little darker, it seems like. Yeah. Like, it's going to be more, like, grounded. I think the one that had the girls in it, Melissa McCarthy and yeah. stuff, was more, like, it was comedic. More, yeah, more, yeah, more, more, more kid-friendly. Yeah. See, even the first movie was, it was a real movie with comedy. Right. Yeah. It wasn't, like, a comedy movie. I feel like that's, that's right. where they went when wrong. When Gargoyle comes in the first original Ghostbusters I was fucking scared as a I kid. was like, scared as what fuck the when f- when the arms were coming out of the chair and yes, grabbing her. I yes. was fucking terrified. And then like the kitchen, like when like the And then the door swung around. Yeah. And there's the fucking demon dog. Yeah, Who I brought the dog? Who brought the dog? <laughs> there is only Zool. There is no Dana. There is only Zool. <laughs> Alright, Zool. God, it's a, it's a such a good movie. I'm pumped for it though. A lot of, a lot of people are. Have you guys? Have you seen Stranger Things, Kellen? No. Nope, Gee, what have you? Well, maybe we can make a shorter list. Right. What have you seen? <laughs> <laughs> but everyone's bitching Letter that Kenny. it's Stranger yeah. Things, and I know the one of the actors from Stranger Things is in it, but it's not. How is that a bad thing? No, he's a good actor. Like, sh- think about this. Everyone's like, Ghost, this Ghostbusters is going to be a rip off of Stranger Things, like. Okay, Stranger Things is a ripoff of Goonies, E.T. I mean, the list goes fucking on and on. But it's still... Everything's a ripoff of a ripoff. Right. There's no original ideas anymore. I got original ideas. I just don't know what to do with them. Even the Joker movie was a, uh, you know, of of Taxi Driver and what was the stand-up comedy movie with Robert De Niro? It wasn't Last Comic Standing, but it was something... The name was something like that. It was basically those two movies combined. That was the Joker movie. Yeah. No one was like, well, this is a ripoff. Well, yeah, well, no. Technically it was, but who the fuck cares? If you're ripping off good movies and you make it in a good way. So that's something I've always thought of and I've always wanted to see. So let's say let's say you're watching a movie. Um God, I'm trying to think of like an example to use for this, but Boondock Saints. I'm watching it right now. What's up? Okay, so all right, let's say it was Boondock Saints, right? Yeah. First, we're going second. through the movie. The, we'll go with the first one here, and there was a firefight. And there was a firefight, and I'm thinking of all this and all these different characters that are in this movie. Like, so who's one of the most iconic ones, or you know what I mean? Someone that's not really that important. Let's make a movie of them. Like, why aren't there more stuff of that? Like, like his dad was in prison. Make a movie about what his dad did to get there. Or when he was an assassin and he was the fucking boogeyman, what he, he was like. Oh, El Duce? El Duce, or, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, take someone else's, you know, when you see a movie where two guys, like, cross paths and they go different ways. Yeah. I'd like to see more of what, Are you talking about, like, a sequel? Um, or a movie farther down the line like, 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 like a prequel like a but people off. get excited about those movies but then they get a lot upset of them about those movies look at tron you remember the original tron right and then everyone was jazzed as fuck that this is like new technology right and it was like the most separated sequel what was it 20 22 <sighs> years yeah. 22 right. years or something between sequels it was like the longest distance between sequels whatever but everyone was so pumped. And then when it came out, everyone's like, this movie's trash. <laughs> right. I, I'm not going to lie. I actually like that movie. The special, the special effects. Yeah, are amazing. I mean, if you just fight, take it for what it is, I right. think people put these movies on, on a such pedestal. a high pedestal. I just, what, what, I'm, what, I'm, what I mean, though, so like, all right, in, in that, in Tron, this and that, like, I, I feel like that'd be a bad example of a movie. I'm trying to think of one where, like. I was just thinking of something that was kind of a sequel off of something from a long time ago oh, well, let's, let, real quick, that like, people this, were pumped about. Yeah. T- Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, we all love it, right? Yeah. Why is there not a Casey Jones movie? 
because you know what I'm saying. That's the shit I want to see. I know, but everyone unless really a gives a, a fuck fan. about the turtles. If you're unless you're a turtle fan, you don't know who Casey like, who Jones the fuck is. is that? Right, but what if? So what does that? What does that matter? You Casey could, Jones was a dude in fucking New York going around fighting crime, doing the right thing, trying to be a vigilante. Why can't you show him some of his crazy encounters of what happened to him in his past? Give him a backstory. Make it dark. You can make a whole movie out of it. You don't even have to know who Casey and Jones you know was in the turtles. You know it would be everyone's favorite part of the Casey Jones movie. When he meets the turtles. When the turtles have a cameo in it. <laughs> right. But you know what so I'm saying. So why not just make a turtles movie? But I, I, I still think that that's going to happen in the future. Because so many people are running out of original ideas. And they take the movies no, in the past. No, just going to start remaking more movies. Well, you know what I mean? That's where we're getting to now. Where it's like. Everything's so, a fucking remake. Well, the problem. Right. Go so ahead. Ghostbusters is a remake. It's a sequel it's to a, the original okay, two. Right, right. But that's what I'm saying. But like even the other one before the the, the girls Ghostbusters. It's a remake. It's a. It's that a, was a reboot. A, right. But this like, is part three. Yeah. This is this of is, the original two. This is in line of the story. Okay, but that's what I'm saying. So there was a there was a fourth Ghostbuster movies that has nothing to do with the other three. You see what I mean? Because it was just these chicks that did this. And and I get well, it. Well, that was a fine. reboot. Right. Like the new Turtles isn't continuing the story of the original three Turtles movies. It's a reboot. Uh, well, it's a I want to see Turtles movie. what I'm saying is I want to see more extended stories of smaller role characters. Like, yeah, I would like and it would work, Casey but Jones. if they are a popular character, it'll work. I don't think Casey Jones is that popular. He's a fun character. That's I think probably a, a Crane story would might be better. Or the Shredder. Or a Shredder original uh, origin story. Right, but that's what I'm saying. You could come up with so many of those different movies. I'm trying to think of other movies right now, and I'm fucked up, and I can't. But, like, that was just one that popped into my head. But that's you know, what I'm saying. No, who else is fucked up? Kellen. No, you also hit it with the blue Everything's back Everything's traveling. But the, the, the backstory on the dad. Right. That would right. be something good to see. Because you don't... Interesting you don't but the Boondock he was Saints just in jail. made absolutely no money in the box office. Well, I that's that. why that's you're fine. not going to see this, because it's I'm a cult saying, classic. Is there so many different characters in movies? Like, how cool would it be if you watched Jaws and you went and got to see Hoopers? No one wants to see that. Frankie. What? Really? No. Or, you want to see right. him go to college and if study wa- marine biology? If you're watching, <laughs> is that the movie you want to watch, dude? If you're watching Jaws, Hooper? you're watching it for the shark. All right, you're yeah, not I get that. For anything right, so maybe Hooper wouldn't be the right one. But let's say no, that's a horrible if you analogy. Were to do, um, that dude broed out. He <sighs> didn't get name? any Sheriff, pussy in college. Sheriff Br- he was just Sh- studying fucking Sheriff coral Brody. reefs. What if he did to see Sheriff Brody, Brody from New York? No. He was a Not sheriff in a small fishing fucking town. No, he was or, in New York, the big city. That's why he went there. Why don't we just follow the shark? From it's the time but, right, I forget Inception. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, I the other shark. When he got like his that. first taste of real human blood. Who was the, who was the captain you know. of the orca? <laughs> God damn it. Free Willy? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, the orca was the boat from Jaws. <laughs> yeah. I can't think that might that. have been a Captain Willie. I don't know. No, what's his name? Two Spanish ladies. Yeah. <laughs> Who, Richard Dreyfuss's character? No, the fucking guy, the shark hunter. Oh. God, man. what the... F- I can't think of it, man. I haven't seen Jaws in fucking 100 oh, years. Just call him fucking to- crazy no, Willie. No, I want to know his damn name. Well, Sean can Google it right now. Continue. You want to know his backstory? Yeah, like what about him wrangling all these sharks and being... You know what I'm saying? Could like, you imagine if a trailer came out right now? This summer... Get ready for a fourth-based character in a movie from the 70s. You want to know how he how he fucking built the orca? Well, get ready, motherfuckers, because it's coming. It's Captain Willie. <laughs> I, I guess I... We'll s- learn how he learned the fucking lyrics to Sweet Spanish Lady. <laughs> we'll also dive what about his movie, deep. Though? He talks about how he was on the... We're uh, going to dive deep S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S. how he was on the SSNopolis... Guess what? That he already be- explained the fucking story in two <laughs> minutes while they were on the fucking orca. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Quint? Quint! Yeah, Quint. they went in the water. It's Quinn. Quint. Shocks in the water. They call them Quinn. Quint. You go in the water? Quinn, you're not going to do this on the... It, they're saying Quint, but you're not hearing the T. Pronounce. 
enunciate. So you wanted when he was telling the story, you wanted like a Rocky montage when they fucking travel back and people were just getting eaten just by shown. sharks. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, that would have been really Rocky dark. fucking just fade to black and all of a sudden just a Rocky montage of people being <laughs> mauled by sharks. That's what you wanted. Ah, oh, man. I don't know. I got his first don't. taste when he was a little shark. Yeah. Oh. Could you imagine if the SS Indianapolis yeah. that was that was Jaws's first taste? Maybe he took a nibble out of the captain's leg, right? And he was hunting him for years. Now there's the backstory to Jaws. He smelt. You didn't know. He smelt the orca boat. He just followed it. And that diesel fuel. So, Je- so Jeff basically just told you here what you want, so it's over. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> I just think, I'm content. Just now. close your eyes and I'll I'm read you the. Now, you know what I mean? I'll I read you like the book. <laughs> Jesus. I, I, fuck off! Just you imagine. Know, isn't there a show or movie? I understand like, where you're coming from. One. It would be interesting. Alfred, does that have its own show coming up from like the Batman series? Does he have his own show? Yeah, you're going to learn how he makes a sandwich in the kitchen. Cooking show on the food network. He's show on the food network. I love how Gordon Ramsay come in and destroy it. Yeah. Alfred, I, where's my manwich? <laughs> <laughs> Coming right up, Mr. Wayne. Where's my fluffer nutter? Who's your better <laughs> Oh, God. You want to see the Alfred story? I mean, I think... About how he intriguing. folds laundry and <laughs> does the dishes for three hours fucking straight. What are you even talking about? You leave my fucking <laughs> dead <laughs> Yes, alone. I know. You have dreams, but they have to be realistic. If you're going to make a movie... I think that... Maybe we'll... You know what? We'll, yes, I we'll come. We'll is. talk to BJ because he's... He, no, no, we'll, no. Call, we'll get all the BJ radio. I, I and we'll pitch this. Know. Hey, bro, we got this movie about Alfred <laughs> where he learns... He does like a, a laundry folding montage <laughs> where he learns it from like a Japanese master <laughs> oh my god and These he are goes, all to, like, he goes to like a, a Swedish sandwich making school <laughs> I'm almost positive that this Alfred thing is a real thing no, I don't think I'm just making it up what's it gonna be about I, I'm telling you I thought he was like a secret service dude oh you did did you he, is that man. where you learned how to make a manwich I guess so <laughs> I, I don't know I, maybe I'm, I'm losing it <laughs> That's just... He I, fell I, far from grace if he came from being a badass Navy SEAL to fucking... Johnny putting, Sandwich Putting Parker. gas you don't in know. fucking Bruce Wayne's limo. How do you know he's not making six <laughs> figures? He probably is. You know what I mean? He, oh, million dollars a year to be security and... I see a movie I would want to know, not his origin story, if he lived like a double life, like he was pumping gas for Bruce Wayne driving his limo, and then he's... Doing coke off a stripper's ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Alfred's out there he's slinging He's living dick. some kind of double life. He's got 16 kids, and he's on Maury. It's not my child. He's right, just he's out there all these slinging back dick. back to the mansion, and he's like, this is my no, house. No, he doesn't bring them back to the mansion. He no. bangs them outside. He mm-hmm. goes to sleazy motels. He's got the money for it. Yeah, exactly. You know it. He but what, if, what if Bruce Wayne needed a man witch, and he wasn't there? Then Bruce is up fucked river. Fuck yeah. Who's going to answer the door if someone comes knocking? All Bruce? I'm saying is no one's going to watch the Alfred or origin story. No. All right, maybe that's a poor choice of character, but... I was so, so far, you're like, oh, for six. I was so pumped for the Wolverine origin story, and that thing was dog shit. <laughs> I guess. You're yeah, telling me rough. I'm going to go watch an Alfred <laughs> I think story? it's a real thing. I'm going to look it up later. If I remember. Yeah, go ahead. Google it. It's going to say it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I love Ghostbusters. Any other characters? But I don't know. Ask our guest over here. Kellen, can you think of a badass character of a movie? You're into movies and shit. That you want an Ghostbusters. Or- that you want an origin story of? No. <laughs> Besides the data from Boondock Saints. They, no, that would be a good one, it. though. I, I think it'd be good. Yeah, I really do. Fucking but, eat it, Jeff. It would be better than the sequel. I, no, Boondock no. Saints 2. Yeah, that, that was bad. Rough. That was pretty bad. The first <laughs> one was about so it. Well, good. You want to talk about shit sequels? Green Street Hooligans. Have you ever seen that movie? 
I haven't no. seen it, either one of them. Green, no. The original Green Street Hooligans, it's Elijah Wood and uh, the dude that played... Oh, say Jack, no more. The dude that played Jax from Sons of Anarchy, but uh, he plays a soccer punk, or soccer hooligan. Is there such sorry, a thing? I'm sorry, my head set off. Did there, you say soccer hooligan? <laughs> yes, soccer hooligan. I, had, I was scratching my head. You don't remember in uh, Euro Trip? Where they drink with the soccer oh, yeah, hooligans. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because the movie takes place in England. My baby takes the, the morning train. train. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Green Street Hooligans is... Manchester United. They're fans of a soccer team. Elijah Wood comes from America. I hate that little fucker. <laughs> and ends up getting his ass kicked a lot because he's hanging out with his cousin who is a soccer hooligan. Yeah. It's a fucking great movie. I haven't seen it. I don't think. So I, what about it? The sequel sucked dick. They took. <laughs> they took. They literally took. Uh, Frankie can't feel his face. Like oh. the fifth, oh. the fifth most important character, and made the movies like about him going to prison after their big, their last. Yeah, big no, brawl. I'm out. All right, I it's got another one. Horrible. I got another one for you. Just you said it with soccer hooligans. So um, what about if it was like a, a character from like uh, Lox? Stocked in two smoking barrels. Like if it was. Hold, hold on, you you got that out properly? Yeah, I think so. But Lock, stocked in two smoking barrels. Yeah, yeah I appreciate okay. that. Yeah. yeah. No, I know, but he was like struggling. <laughs> yeah, I am yeah, because I'm all excited. It, it just popped my head. But one of those characters would be cool to watch. Like the yeah, they basically the, every uh, Guy Ritchie movie is intertwined. Those same intertwined? characters. Yeah. Intertwined? Yeah. I mean, are Snatch. They, are they intertwined together? I'm sorry. The funniest fucking scene in Snatch is when the Russian's out of the fucking trunk and he's covered he his head behind his back or his hand behind his back and he's Boris, walking Boris, in the road. Boris, like, he's walking around like a fucking chicken and then gets smoked by that car. I I laugh so badly. How, how good would it? Do Why do they call him? Bullet dodger. Because <laughs> he, he dodges, dodges bullets. bullets. <laughs> See, all these backstories are already answered. Yeah. In the movie. But no, I'm saying though, like, if there was a movie about that character where it shows him going through another thing when he was younger, like, obviously, the bullet dodger dodged some bullets before that day. It would have, it would honestly have to be a super interesting character. Yeah, well, all something like so, some a character as simple as fucking John Wick turned into a badass fucking storyline, and they're on their because that's right. It. Do you want to do a movie about John Wick's butler too? You want to <laughs> you want to know the origin story? No, but what I'm saying is, how do you know the, the guy bullet dodger wasn't some badass motherfucker like John Wick? Yeah, if he dodged bullets, he right. had to have been a badass. Exactly. So let me see some of those crazy adventures where he dodged bullets. Yeah, but Neo, when he was ready, it was right in the microphone. I'm oh, sorry, it <laughs> yeah. just that yeah. got it was. That was. So I know what you're saying, but microphone. it's got to be the problem. Fuck with, you! It's got to be your ball. The problems. You with don't me. like my idea. You shit on it. It's a good idea, Frankie. It, it could be, it, but it has to it be, has the, to right be right the right character. character. That's I all agree. I'm saying. I agree. Like, because Hollywood now, all they do is try and shit out guarantees. It right. is. Fucking Marvel movies, Avengers, and it's anything that. Look how awesome an, a movie Inception was. That movie would have never been approved if Christopher Nolan didn't make the Batman movies. Hundred percent. They were so. so the ba- first movies. Batman movie was so successful. He got the green light to make Inception. Now, if it wasn't for that success of that Batman movie, that awesome ass fucking movie would have never been made. And this happens all the time. Companies, they do, they're investing so much money into these movies, they don't want to take chances anymore. I do feel like, I really hence think the, that, that hence, Butler thing, that Alfred thing's a real fucking show. That's the reason why Clerks 3 wasn't getting made. Now Kevin Smith said, fuck you, and he's crowdfunding it. Yeah, that's how they pay for most of the reboot for Jay and Silent Bob, right? Yep. Crowdfunded. That's all. How long crowdfunded. did it take for doing um, Super Troopers too? So yeah, I got that too. For that too. Mm-hmm. Again, another crowdfunded movie. Great movie. Another it, dude. Hats off to you, sir. Kellen donated to the Super Troopers Two right. Foundation. I I thank you. Did you do the old twenty five? I enjoyed bucks? that movie. Box. You went hundred. Holy oh, shit! Box. Did they send Pound anything? Sign ballin'. I thought you were. I thought at certain tiers you're supposed Did to you get, get your shit. name on the credits. You should have. Uh, 
Jay and Silent Bob was Strike one of the higher. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Story. Like Jay and I'm Silent sure so Bob Strike put Back. A dollar. They had when he did that. He said uh, Kevin Smith said if you emailed him, he'd put your name in the credits. My name's in the credits. How dare you? It's got it. it's like two thousand something people. And it just burns through really fast. And so all you're, come guzzler. you're come guzzler 69. 100%. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> it was, it was my old. How is come guzzler 69? No, it was my old name, Jizmop22. Oh, that's right. When you worked at the porn store. Yes. <laughs> I times. didn't know if you know this. I want to know that right. backstory. We should make a movie on that what? backstory. So old saying, Jizmop. A dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know if you don't know I don't know if you know this. But if you don't clean it right, come leave streaks. Oh, oh God. Dear God. God. One of the Jesus. greatest lines in a movie Jesus. ever. So I'm pumped for Ghostbusters, guys. <laughs> 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 it all comes full circle. <laughs> oh, uh, shit. I don't have any uh, cool f- uh, Florida fuck up, Florida fuckery stories. Should I try to find one? Google something. Oh, you're going to have to really try to look. No, all you do no, is no, Florida just, fuckery. And uh, the Florida fuck ups are done. Pop right up. You just fucking. I got mouth. you, bro. Let me. Where, where do you want? Where it? do you want it? Tell them where you yeah, want them. Right here, <laughs> <laughs> like a tractor beam. <laughs> Sucked them right in. So, if anyone lives in Florida and you want to be on Florida fuckery, tell us a story. Because <laughs> obviously we don't have any. <laughs> okay. This dude. Like I said, it wasn't that. Oh hard my fun, lord! Was it? Put that picture up on the screen, please. Oh, I'm, we're doing this one. I'm gonna Double one story down in Florida. Florida. Uh, that it, looks like it's, see if so. it's entitled World's Worst Superhero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So this guy looks like he's half human, half... Got beat the fuck out of. He's well, just, he looks like he fell asleep on a box of markers. He looks like he <laughs> yeah. did a bunch of meth. I was going to say, it looks like he passed uh, out of the house party and... S- what is it called? The uh, drew all over his face. What's the Juggalo Festival? Oh, he's at the gathering. <laughs> <laughs> the gathering of the Juggalos. Right. And someone attacked him, not with a knife, but a permanent marker. <laughs> all right, what do we got? Commits unspeakable what? Unspeakable crimes. Are we? We're not allowed to speak about this. No. Apparently don't, not. You don't talk about it. It's like Fight Club. What you did he do? What is the first rule? What is the first rule? It's more of a guideline than a rule. I don't talk about it. <laughs> I, can't, I can't play huh? it because we'll get kicked. No, nah, it's fine. Let's. Well, I would, if it was a readable story, I would love to read yeah, that. Yeah, we'll, 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 nice we'll have one ready for next week, guys. <laughs> 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 don't worry. We'll be better prepared. Oh, Let's Jesus. talk about... Uh, I know we don't want to get into football too much, but I know this is a topic that can't be ignored. Lamar Jackson... Oh my God, Right-handed yeah, Michael Vick. It. Dude, it's fucking ridiculous. You can actually use him on Madden, which is phenomenal. Because everyone wants to use Michael Vick, He's the and most people do, do but I can't use a left-handed quarterback on a video game. <laughs> it's all you it care about is the up. best right-handed quarterback. <laughs> it throws everything off. It does. All your pitches are wrong. Everything's right. wrong. I can't use a left-handed quarterback on a video game. I love that. It fucks me up. I love Steve that Young Mike Vick fuck me up tweeted up. at Lamar Jackson or tweeted out, and he says, you know, he's happy for him or whatever, respect. But, like, he's like, that boy's got skills. He's fast. He's like, but it's official. He's got a, a faster speed than Mike Vick in Madden. Yeah, he's a 96 overall. And he speed. says, he's like, couldn't we at least have the same speed? <laughs> he's more upset that he's faster than him yeah. in Madden than he actually broke his rushing record. Well, Michael season. Vick, when, when, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure when Lamar Jackson was a senior, Michael Vick said, he's the next me. Like, he yeah. he knew like he was going to be great, a superstar. Well, and then everyone... What blows my mind about... Lamar Jackson is this year the, in the off season he taught himself entirely over how to throw the football the talent that it takes to relearn something you've been doing your entire life well you also got to realize too he was in that college system where they he in, at Louisville he ran a it was like a triple option right just when they do run a lot of that there I, I give Baltimore's head coach uh, a lot of props for going with the scheme that fits his quarterback I give Jackson a lot of props too because you remember when T 
teams wanted him to be a wide receiver. Right. He's running only back. A running back. He didn't, He's only going to be he a running back. He didn't run the 40 strictly because his time was going to be so fast that people would probably draft him in the late second round to be a wide receiver. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's crazy. So well, he's like, nah, I'm not running the 40 at the combine. Well, that was like the quarterback that was uh, from Michigan, uh, Robinson. He was a black – he was basically Lamar Jackson with less talent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he went into the league as a running back, and I think he lasted about three years. Yeah, I mean, look at what's uh, the the player on the Bears, uh, John Franklin the Third. He was a quarterback for the Last Chance U. He's got a good and name. After football, you can open a law office. Right. <laughs> Johnson Franklin the Third and Associates. Right, that's a perfect law firm name. <laughs> but they, they, he's a defensive back now in the NFL. That's a question. Yeah. But speaking of, what's going on here? Uh, quarterback. I see hands raised. Scramble. Who was the first quarterback? To really ever go outside the pocket, Fran try Tarkenton. to make something. Fran Tarkenton. Fran yeah. Tarkenton. Scrambling Fran Tarkenton. Led Minnesota to four straight Super Bowls, and they lost every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's rough. Randall Cunningham probably is like the, the most one that revolutionized. Yeah, the, he kind of brought it to the the new age, like the Vic types and. Right. It's not Charlie Batch. It's well, not, obviously, it's, 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 it's not. Uh, Trevor Bash didn't do shit. What was the <laughs> other guy that Rodney Pete wasn't Rodney Pete? No. It wasn't the other guy that was Rodney Pete. Pete's guy there. <laughs> but the way that the Ravens' offensive scheme is, John Harbaugh is a fucking genius. Well, he just took a college scheme and he's and he has a, a player that is unmatchable. You can't put a spy on him. Show me a linebacker that has that speed to keep up with him. It's insane. His change of direction. It, he he it's is hard to defend. I hope he keeps it going though. Yeah, dude. Don't end up like a Kaepernick. No, I well, don't you know end up like RG three. Yes, that's yeah, what I'm RG3. scared of. I think he's right. he's he's a little bit smarter. Bridgewater wasn't outside as fast. of outside of football. No, Bridgewater was okay. sort of shit compared to well, but Bridgewater yeah. was more of a scrambler, and then he got hurt, and it's like you you know what I mean. Now he's a pocket guy that might extend the plays a little bit, but it's just I mean it, I think it well, really matters too with your scheme. He's worried about making his knee. A Wasteland again. Right. I know. I'd be so scared if that's I was it. him to play. That's it. Same thing with RG3. Look at him. Yeah. Where's he at now? He's, he's with the Ravens. He's the, the backup, backup quarterback for the Ravens. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> where is he? Sitting on a bench. Yeah. yeah. Right. He's nothing. Right. And he was supposed to be. What a great rookie year he had. Right. Jesus. Yeah. Everyone thought they had a 10 year quarterback. I thought he was going to break Vic's record, his running record. Right. I mean, he, and you thought too that he was a bigger quarterback, a little bit thicker. You know, with he was, some size and to him. In all honesty, RG3 is faster than Lamar Jackson. Well, he was. And yeah. that, that's one of the big things with the scrambling quarterbacks is you don't get the longevity out of a scrambling quarterback right. if you do have a pocket passer. Well, 100%. You don't get, Even you, Russell you, you Wilson don't. isn't that much of – I mean, he still scrambles and extends plays, and he's very good at it. But he, right. he doesn't run you know, like he did when they won the Super Bowl. But no. you're not going to get guys like Tom Brady out of a scrambling quarterback. No. You're, you're going to get, what, maybe five years if you're lucky. Right. Out yeah. of a scrambler. I mean, Tom Brady. If you're lucky. If he. They're if, not designed to take hits from middle linebackers. If Lamar no, switches, you know, progresses his style every year, he will last. He, Absolutely. He, he just well, can't. he's become a phenomenal guy in, in passing and in, in, in his accuracy and in, in staying in the pocket in some of these because he does scramble. We have a question. But when he stays in the pocket, he's. We have a question from the, from the audience. We have, we have a question from the audience. Yeah. We're live right now. In your opinion, who is the best quarterback that is able to leave their pocket and get the most like, Lamar Jackson. yards, whatever, for Lamar the Jackson. first touchdown? Yeah. Lamar, Jackson. Lamar Jackson. I'm you sorry, know. first down. Lamar Jackson. Yeah. This, Lamar Jackson. The, Lamar what Jackson, he's doing this sure. year is absolutely it's insanity. Insane. And what's funny is I picked him and up And he's throwing fantasy. mad numbers up, too, throwing the yes. In in some leagues, I grabbed him off the waiver wire after the league started, and I was Lamar Jackson, and I told people I think he's going to run for a thousand yards this year, and people laughed at me when I said that. I, 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 I said, said, laughable I said like seven fifty because of how, what he looked like last year. Right when he came I, in, I just I but thought they revamped saw, that line. Oh god, that yeah, defense got Bringing, real dirty. Um, and Hollywood Brown giving him that deep threat. That deep threat. And then not only that, though, too, like, I mean, it's a nice punch with that deep threat that you have to watch over the top to have Mark Ingram, who could 
and Mark Ingram playing tackles. out of his fucking mind this year. Big yeah. trust, bro. That that dude, that dude's playing out of his mind too. So it's it, it, and that's another thing too. And I think they all see that is it's a collective effort. It's a team game. You know what I mean? And Lamar Jackson couldn't be as good as he is if he didn't have some of those pieces around him. The okay. major way he's different from Michael Vick is he didn't kill a bunch of dogs. And Sean, like, like like you were saying, oh yeah, yeah, that, there's that. That's <laughs> they had to revamp their line completely. Yeah, you absolutely. cannot have the same line on a scrambling quarterback as you do on a pocket passer. And it's a completely uh, different scheme, Harbaugh mindset, wrote, everything. Completely wrote the book to his quarterback. Yes. Absolutely. But tell me an offensive line that plays plays better to the RPO, if if, if a lot there of isn't. Then there, there isn't Baltimore. Beca- well, well, all right. Like so, when you're running the RPO, the the, the offensive line has to stay. At, you know, behind the line of scrimmage if it's a pass play. So they don't sure. know if he's handing the ball off or not. So they don't get, on a rush play, they don't get that downfield pressure to push the line forward. They have to kind of wait and make their blocks and have an, a hole open up for the running back to go through while they still kind of pass protect. So the way that the Ravens are so good at running the RPO and be able to, to have a good contact block and hold those blocks in their position, and depending on you know the, the way of the run or whatever, which way they're gonna right. set the edge. Wrap it up. <laughs> I'm just saying, rambling, bro. There's no team just that does that. Home. Burn we home. could let RPOs. Frank, when Frankie gets on, I like I I, I wanted to just bring up Lamar Jackson, right? MVP. I, I, gonna I, be we don't need to hear. We don't need to hear well, the RPOs. RPOs are are new he's the breaking it down like the NFL has changed though because of players like Lamar Jackson. You it's can't. called the evolution of the game. It happens every ten years. Yeah, but I mean, obviously, this this isn't new. We've had Randall Cunningham. We've had Mike Vick. We've had guys that have done this. Style. We haven't had the offense centered around them, though. They were still basically running West Coast offense. Right. Yeah. And when the West Coast offense came out, it revolutionized football because it moved on from the seventies. Well, yeah, the option well, short term solution is not too well, long. Well, but you understand <laughs> because then the West Coast offense works for three years, and then defenses go to that, and then you got to yep. switch up to something else. That's when the Wildcat and shit came in. Right. And then you got to switch. Who ran the that. Wildcat ever? You know, I mean, it's still not the, the Dolphins. The Dolphins, Ronnie. Dolphins. Ronnie Dolphins. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't Don't it ever Ronnie Brown? Around? Fuck it. Well, my Panthers ran the Wildcat in two thousand two. Went, no, to state. Was one. Went to state. Woo! <laughs> no quarterback on the team. <laughs> All right. It so, is it is good to see what that man is doing. All right. Congrats, Lamar Jackson, on yeah. a great fucking yeah. season. And that's football. And help him win my yeah. fantasy league. Woo-woo, Jeff, great trust. Uh, Jeff, what we got next? Well, we got a new segment um, called uh, The Stone Zone. <laughs> <laughs> we Welcome to The Stone Zone. Stone Zone. Frankie, zone, zone, zone. you want to... You want to ask a question? Um, a random stony thought I don't, about I don't, banks or something. You about can banks? Say it. I'll give it to you. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> um, so, so, so. So does uh, so, does so, a so, <laughs> so, so. stone zone. I'm too so. stoned for you guys to be saying shit in my head right now. I think. We're so does a bank teller have safe sex? <laughs> God damn right they do. <laughs> does, does a bank teller have safe sex? Could you imagine? Possibly. I want to be a bank teller. It's possible. You know what I mean? That'd that's, be that's the that's best pickup line ever. Do we have cameras in there though? sex, honey. Oh, yeah, they got cameras. <laughs> Oh, I think they got cameras <laughs> and banks nowadays. Yeah, you get well, all I mean, the angles. It's like bank, the best porno you can ever <laughs> shoot for free. Yeah, you get one from the floor? <laughs> oh, yeah, <the> underneath <laughs> shots. <laughs> There's like 12 cameras in that safe. What, <laughs> what <laughs> this bank are you going to? <laughs> what are you talking about? Usually it's just probably two in the, one in one corner one in the other corner. No. <laughs> Covering the blind That's spots. That's the bank I go to, bro. Oh, or was that the sperm bank? <laughs> Your favorite place to drink? <laughs> it might be. <laughs> That's probably not a question. Man, they got these great drinks. <laughs> a little chunky. <laughs> kind of like one of those cement mixer shots. You know what I'm saying? Curdles in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Disgusting. Oh, Jesus. Rough. You ever see someone out for the 21st, get him a cement mixer. Bro, I got another Stone Zone fucking question. So stone, you th- Stone Zone. Stone zone, stone zone. So there's the ultimate question, right? What came first, 
the chicken oh, God. or the egg? Ooh, I think I know the answer to that one. Now, <laughs> let, me, option C. let me ask another fucked up question no one asks. What came first? Orange. What came first? The color? Or the or fruit? The fruit. <laughs> <laughs> the fruit came first. And that's where the color came from. Okay. But why isn't a grape called purple? <laughs> right. Purple dots. There's <laughs> 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 those purple dots. Well, because there's green grapes, there's red grapes. I love my strawberries. They're not okay. reds. That, that's about it. Yeah, grab me those heart yeah, reds. Yeah. They're, they're like... Give me some red those and sugar. Uh, seeded reds. <laughs> reds, like why, why is a banana not called the? Why is an orange? Is that the, that's thing. the only thing that's named after its color? It's, color. it's weird. If banana could be called just yellow. I could what sit here Brit, uh, stone just just at the bit over there dancing around. Like you take a piss. Is it the fourth time? Men named it. You named it. Men. Yeah, men are awesome. We name right. everything. Orange. It's we also uh, we also oh, created fire. Why are there so many holes? Men named it. I'm also going to revert back to this. The male orgasm is required for human life, but the woman's is not. <laughs> right. So anyway, Those let's move on from that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm speaking. That's right, it's a myth. That's my bad. Uh, the female orgasm. <laughs> these, these, sorry, these, are, these, these are the views of these tournament on their own. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. You can't SJW me. <laughs> it, is, it is so fucked up, though. I was thinking about this the other day because I seen an image of Santa Claus, and I understand everyone's concern about white privilege because every powerful, <laughs> awesome man, he has to be white. Why? Santa, white, motherfucker. Some southern guy in Texas. White. Jesus, he's white. My favorite is Jesus. Everything's white. My favorite is Jesus because in the Bible it says he was bronze-skinned <laughs> with the hair of a sheep, with the hair of wool. So he had a solid tan. Solid yeah, but tan. his hair wasn't wool in the pictures. He looked like he played no, bass no. for fog hands. <laughs> 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 No, 100%. He's like the most 70s bass player you've ever seen in your life. Yeah, that's like all holidays and tradition shit. and You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I guess I could see Santa like has to be white. He's in the North Pole. There ain't a lot of... He ain't going outside a lot. He should be Eskimo. Should be. Right. That would make more sense. But I'm going to tell you right now, Coca-Cola went and sold, sold as many cans if there was an Eskimo Santa on there. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, I'm just saying bullshit. You see how much those polar bears sell? Because they're cute bears. Fuck yeah, they are. They fucking yeah, use them. not in real life. They'll rip no, off. They'll <laughs> tear your throat <laughs> out. <laughs> they'll eat you butthole first. Yeah. Is yeah. that what they do? They eat you butthole mm-hmm. first. That's what all bears do. <laughs> That's why we call you Big Bear. I <laughs> <laughs> eat that butthole first. Accepting <laughs> the applications now. <laughs> Send them out, ladies. Uh, that's Sean. As soon as he meets a lady at the bar, hey, my name's Sean. They call me Big Bear. I'll eat your butt first. <laughs> <laughs> Might be my new uh, She's Twitter like, tagline. Oh, 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 I'm in. Ooh. Might be my Twitter tagline. I met this bear last night, and holy shit, ladies. <laughs> let me tell you. Did he eat my butthole? <laughs> Uh, but all first. <laughs> that shit scares me. Sometimes in the heat of the moment, <laughs> I don't like bears. At ATM. No, not bears. Tongue in a butthole. So I started. I remember the one time I started hanging out with this girl. You know, super cute. Blah blah blah. <laughs> and uh, you know, we're kicking it for a while, going out. You know, on little dates and all this stuff. And then uh, probably our second date, uh, we had a mutual friend. <laughs> And he straight up tells me, yeah, she ate her boyfriend's asshole out. And I was like, <laughs> she what? I was just kissing her. He's like, yeah, dude. Go. Yeah, dude. She eats ass. So then With every the time she fucking kissed me, I could taste it. <laughs> like Zeke. <laughs> oh. I was like, oh, uh, let's just say uh, we didn't hang out for much longer <laughs> after oh, that. Oh, God. Stop that right away. But he fucking uh. ruined it for me. Totally ruined it. Well, you could have got, got your fucking 
butthole tongue darted and you didn't want it. Just <laughs> there's some things you say you want, but you don't really want. You know what I'm saying? Just like I take some minging shits. So it's like, yeah. I don't want no one back there. Yeah, my ass is hairy and I'm out of dude wipes. <laughs> I sweat a lot in this the undercarriage. It was this a long a, hot This day. is gonna be enjoyable for either one of us. <laughs> I can <laughs> smell my ass from here. <laughs> I might enjoy it a little more than you, but you're definitely not going to enjoy this. Enjoy the saltiness. And I'm a gentleman. Are you? Hence the name of the podcast. (laughs) Maybe if. So her not enjoying my dirty asshole, I'm not going to enjoy her eating it. You are a gentleman. (laughs) Oh, boy. The old rusty trombone. Oh. Which brings yeah, yeah. us to my next dilemma. Well, not dilemma, but more of like an observation. So is your name Nelly? I've been looking at cars recently, you know, and everyone's like, oh, check Super. the car facts, blah, blah, blah. Let's say you had a fuck fax. <laughs> <laughs> so you can, you're interested, in, you're interested in this girl. That box is no doubt. And you can get a printout of everyone she's banged, oh. everything she's done. I, I would wait, love wait, this. Wait, 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 not one-sided. No, it can no, work both ways. Of course it's right. Right. That's why I said call it a fuck fact. Of course yeah. it's not. Not, 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 not like a cock fact. fact. It's a, yeah, it's a fuck, a fuck fact. fact. We're speaking yeah, from the guy's point of view, I feel like this is, this is like a spinoff, though, a little bit of the league where there was the Eskimo Brothers business. Where well, you would find out how many Eskimo Brothers you actually have. I think this should be a real thing. Yeah, but this is a personal thing about, so like you would have a rap sheet. And right. like I told oh, you yeah. before, because Every, we, everybody's we talked about be this there. before, like Frankie Frankie started off strong as a young go-hard. <laughs> like he would be like... Hitting home runs every weekend. Frankie would be like a Countach back in the 70s, driven hard and Frank, fast. Frankie's an 80, 85 Countach for but, sure. But now he's he's been fucking he's garage been. kept by an old collector. Right. <laughs> 330,000 miles on him. He's on like the fucking. One. He's on one of those battery tender things. Oh, the, the, the trickle charge, <laughs> trickle charge on. Just so he can stay ready. You know what I mean? Just in so case the owner wants to take him for a ride. Trick- you know, I, I take it out on the weekends. Not so much during the week. Once a year. Not in the winter. Hold on, the lady said, Do you want to give my, what would be my uh, fuck you facts, like honey? My 99 Come on, you gotta, you gotta talk into the mic. No, wow, that's really like, fucking bad. That's, that's pretty No, that's my first car. <laughs> It was a 99 Mercury Cougar. <laughs> That's not a good thing either. <laughs> I loved it. It was reliable, but it had quite a few miles on it. <laughs> <laughs> Kayla, you're digging your grave right now. From point A to point B. <laughs> <laughs> had to fucking hit not it a, sometimes to get not an, ex- I don't, not <laughs> an exciting ride, but. Oh, yeah, reliable <laughs> over there. I don't really care if it hurts when I piss. Not flashy. As long as transmission not flashy, slips. You know, it works. It, it worked and it was reliable. Transmission slips, rusted out that door. Is, that is you. You work. You're reliable. The hand, one door handle was off of it. <laughs> Old Oldsmobile. Thank you, honey. Well. It's your turn. It's it's your turn now. Had <laughs> just stayed in the back seat. <laughs> so, uh, Brit, you got a comment? So, my lady. You got a comment? You? No, no. About the topic in general. Oh, oh boy. My lady, real quick. Like whole can of real water, quick. So my lady, my lady is younger water. than me. Oh, sorry, Sean. By quite a few years. So. Fuck that. You would be like... Hang on one second. Milady would be like a new used. <laughs> <laughs> Something with like, about 30,000 miles on it. Are we, are we talking certified pre-owned? Are we CPO? Talking, it was a CPO? Are we talking about, I'm talking like, about back lot? No, no are we talking no. about specials? I Richmond, got a Richmond. warranty. She's still got a warranty She's on still it. got a warranty on her. That's so still we're not miles. Just, Yeah. One owner, you know, just... One owner... You know, a couple test drivers, but right. <laughs> mostly a Sunday driver, little yeah. miles. You know, spend a little time on the lot is what you're saying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Set for a little bit, waiting for the right buyer to just want that that perfect patina. Just a few, couple dents. <laughs> Jesus <Yeah>. freaking! <laughs> I mean, she had <laughs> she, she had, had just tearing her down, man. I to, mean, if I'm all reliable sitting over here in my Corvette, I'm sure there's some dents in this thing. 
Well, yeah, you have about 220,000 miles on you. The fuck There's it. some rounds on Every on time you turn it on, it knocks like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Really oh, John be here. Old paint shaker. Oh, oh, John be here. Oh, dude, I'm, a, I'm busted down in the fucking back of some hellbilly's yard no. right now. <laughs> <laughs> you're like... Uh, Barely used. You're so. like one of those reliable diesel trucks that has like 400,000 miles on it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All dented up, busted like as fuck. He would fuck. be like a 1972 dually, but the guy only used it Make once a year. Make so it's so uh, my yeah. age. A 78 <laughs> dually. Yeah. This guy only used it to pull out the farm equipment once a year. You know what I mean? He's he's got it's a strong runner. It'll get the job done. See, I thought too. It, it would makes have terrible like, choices in life. You could have like Cheer criteria. You could have like criteria. Like anal would be like four wheel drive. <laughs> <laughs> so you go mudding. Like, well, no, even that. <laughs> Anal's not really like necessary, but it's nice to have. <laughs> 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 like it's not a deal breaker, but right. hey, if it snows, bro, it's I got nice it. To have that, right? yeah. Jesus Christ, that is That's that might be awesome. the best. That might be the best goddamn answer to that I've ever heard. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't uh, like what? Uh, what would? Can you guys think of some other like criteria like that? Man, like, no. Uh, cruise like, control. Cruise control would like be nice. Jobs. They're like blowjobs. Or if she could just ride on top, that should be like cruise <laughs> control. Cool. That would be a moonroof. She knows that. That would be a moonroof. <laughs> She's got a sunroof. Yeah. <laughs> She's on top. That's a moonroof. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can't wait till the convertible comes out then. Ooh. Right. That's that's reverse. That's when she brings her friend in. Ooh. Ooh. What would that be? That's like if you had a nice car and like a, a motorcycle too. No, when she brings her friend in, that's like a... Like a tag team. It's like one of those uh, cars that goes on the water, too. Ooh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Those aquacrafts. <laughs> two in one. <laughs> it's the two in ones. What kind of tag team are we talking about here? Uh, uh, a a girl the getting tag team. A, the good tag team, not where two nuts are rubbing. Callan, yeah. 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 what would be your car facts? <laughs> I want to talk about uh, <laughs> <laughs> So the lion. Yeah, stop Brit, it. Brit's got a question. Britt Brit has a question here. Oh, we wanted to... Oh, we're all answer pantsy over there. No, you said... Oh, no. She got excited. What do you have to say? Yeah, it's... who's? Yeah, let's, so let's hear these car yeah, facts. Oh, yeah, about, uh, about the fuck facts. What kind of car what are facts? you, Britt? Oh, so, no, not me. No, what Wait. kind of car are you? Oh, you're asking. wanting me. What kind of car am I? Yeah. Well, well, yeah, you guys went at each... You guys went at each other. You can't right. comment they on me. Right. I'm going to comment on you. They both went. What kind of car am I? Yeah. I am the classical type that... What kind of car is she, Kellen? There you go. Like a 67 Lincoln Continental? I wouldn't go with the Continental. Kellen, what kind of car am I? That's T-Bird. That was way too fucking. T-Bird? Maybe, uh... Uh, T-Bird, that's way too fucking hillbilly. She ain't your dirt. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Those old T-Birds are beautiful. Right? She, yeah, she's an old line. mobile. What are you talking about? No, honey, I really I, want to know what kind more, of car I, I think she's more of like a... Like a 67 Fastback. Ooh. Ooh, Fastback. So she'll suck all your gas? <laughs> yeah. GTO. Yeah. Gas tires and oil. She's and fast as fuck. No, no, no traction control. <laughs> you don't have traction control when you're that fucking fast. That ass end's going to slide out. You got to have the right power for it. Do I get to say your fucking Got the power. Yeah. What, is, what kind of car is Kellen? For, for, for the record, oh, I did say she was a 6.7 fastback. Just so what kind, what kind of, what kind oh, of car go. is Kellen? Oh. Kellen is the kind of car that you walk up on and it's shiny and it's nice and you're like, yes, this is the one I think I really so wanted. So Ford Focus? And then you get in and it's got the buttons and the so whistles. So we're going to fight tonight. And then you start <laughs> it <laughs> and it and you have to start it three or four times, you know, and then, you're, and then it finally <laughs> does start. And you're like, yes, this is my dream car. Look at this shit. It's shiny yeah. as fuck, and I've always yeah. wanted it. And then you yeah. drive it, and, and then you get, ha- you know, you, you get a couple miles down the road, and you're like, oh, oh my shit, God. I got to go to the dealer because it's it's not going as I, I thought I, it would. I, I, I see. I see. So, I'm I'm it's shiny as naked. fuck, and you love it. I'm going to take this back from a 6 <laughs> back. We're going to go to a fucking Chevy Corvette now. <laughs> We're going to the program. You know, I was going to go on the four-cylinder. Story, the four-cylinder. That, that story, the way that story felt like it was going, she was going to say, I meant you're driving a nice, shiny new car, and then you just 
steer that fucker to a bridge in Brooklyn, <laughs> and then go get it. You take it back and get it fixed, and like six months later, you hit six deer that were in the middle of a field. <laughs> I feel like I would be a DeLorean. <laughs> Because the only time is good when you go back in time. Right. <laughs> nah, you go back in time is so much better. You just fucking That's sent crazy. Frankie to a T. I, I, I'm going to say, <laughs> holy the, shit. The old if school. I, uh, I thought you were going to say his doors flip up. <laughs> no, but if, I had a, like, if I had like a collector's DeLorean, like from Back to the Future, I'd probably only drive it from time to time. <laughs> Is, is that is that uh was a no pun necessary there? <laughs> yeah, so there was a joke. No pun intended. I would for sure want to be a, a DeLorean. So I you don't do enough cocaine to drive a DeLorean. I guess you probably you're. Right. That was like the running joke you on the DeLorean. Enough. Why is DeLorean always uh, hugging the center line? Because it's snorting up the white lines. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to lie. There's like some movie um, with. Uh, God, who's the guy who's dating uh, Olivia Wilde? I don't know who that is. Oh, Jason Sudeikis. Yeah. He made a movie about the story yeah, of John, John Glow. Yeah, he was really, he played, really, he really played, fucking good. He played the uh, his, like, partner. Yeah, the, and the guy who ended up ratting him out. Pretty fucking pumped. It's because those were gas guzzlers. Gas guzzlers, yeah. guys. Oh, it was no. just a joke. We might have caused the fight. Not get that. <laughs> no, you didn't cause the fight. Dum, 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 I was just trying to explain to her that. Dum, Do we have like the, the car I was dum, describing dum, her dum, as dum, was fucking dum, Eleanor? Dum, yeah, and then dum, she just dum, goes ahead and shits right down my fucking throat. <laughs> that's the, so anyway. Doom. Yeah, basically that's what I'm dealing with. <sighs> hey. I've also we'll be fine. Since I was 12. We'll be fine. So that's uh, same. That's why I call stay up, stay up, Everybody, stay grab up. your bars because this roller coaster is starting to get bumpy. This I podcast was, is great. I always thought it's I liked the, roller coasters. Yeah. Now that I've gotten older, I realize I don't. I never liked them. No, no, I hate. Be it. honest, they scare the shit out of me. It's even I worse. No reason to go on. You think it's gonna be better? No. no reason we should be I'm, on a roller coaster. I'm built for comfort, not for speed. I don't <laughs> need to go 70, <laughs> 70 miles an hour in two seconds. In a don't need to have this cart. Don't need to go upside down. No, at all. In a car, yeah, I'll go fast. Oh, fast in a car, oh, yeah, all day long. I'll, I'll go fast, but not on a fucking, not on a basically ass fucking. Basically, a goddamn mining cart with a seat. Totally, it's exactly what it fucking is. <laughs> what if we went ahead and took one of these mining carts here? We went ahead and made it go real fast. We put we it high people. as fuck. We put a bar on there to hold you down like so a, you don't fly out the motherfucker. There's a chain and it brings you to the top of the... <laughs> 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 And that when that sound stops, you're just like, "Fuck!" Yeah, <laughs> <Yo, laughs> it there comes. There it Hands goes. up. There it goes. Hands up. You you go from, "Oh, I'm calm right now. This ticking's just it's giving me a little anxiety." Then the fucking ticking stops and just <laughs> from your gut, <laughs> you just feel everything come. I just up don't, don't like when my head's head. bouncing and off your ass. ass. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck nothing. Kind of like when you're making love and you're just, <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden she's like, "Fuck, he got quiet." So you know, I'm coming. Something ain't right. <laughs> and then that first big whoosh, power. And Daffy Duck comes out. Pip, pip, pip. In that last one. Uh, and then you say you're welcome. Jeez. Throw him a towel. <laughs> Two shakes. <laughs> throw him a towel. I'm gonna take a shower. <laughs> You can just do hey, it. after I got a shower, make, me, make sure I have a sandwich ready. I'm yeah. celebrating you. You know how I like <laughs> I'm <them>. celebrating <laughs> two road players. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the scene oh, yeah, with Nicolas Cage from The Rock. <laughs> 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 I'm celebrating <laughs> his niece and just <laughs> threw us up the floor. We got green smoke. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> green smoke. I'm celebrating you. Welcome oh, to shit. The Rock. Another See, Michael Bay classic. Off. Here's gonna a towel. To, let's review up, that. The um, the, no, well, we will. But let's do that that new one. Underground. Or six, six Underground. underground. See, yeah. Fuck, I liked it. After the holiday season's over. It's, a, it's, a, it. it's a Michael Bay movie. <laughs> That's pretty Hell yeah. I'm sure. Do we know what the movie is next week? I don't. What Christmas movie we're going to do? Yeah. yeah. Fucking no. Gremlins. Gremlins. Or <laughs> Scrooged. Is that a... Christmas, Christmas movie Christmas for the whole family. Right. Scrooged? I didn't heard of that one. Is that the one that's in the theater right now where they're murdering everybody in it? What is it yeah. called? Like no, that, you just asked for that, that's Colorado. Exactly I didn't hear. Um, yeah, but I have to go 
to a theater. What did you? Yeah. What did you? <laughs> Are you scared? <laughs> no. What I'm did you send me to a theater to watch a <laughs> shitty horror movie? What did you send me the other day where the guy They're was searching or... for a Home Alone? He types in oh, Home yeah. Alone, <laughs> and a bunch of results <laughs> came up. It's Home Alone, Home Alone Two, Home Alone Three, Home Alone something. Then it was I was going out with Forty Housewives, yeah, Home Alone with their dildos. <laughs> I'm going to go out and say it ain't about the actual Home Alone movies. Yeah, yeah. that's on demand, giving you choices. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it went from like, zero to oh, 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 yeah. real quick. That went to zero to 100 real quick. How Home Alone are you? Oh, Jesus Christ. Home Alone with the kids? All right, before we end this, I wanted, are you guys, I was telling you earlier, are you guys good with uh, accents? English no, accents? I'm horrible. English? No, I ain't good with English. <laughs> English? Here's an easy, easy <laughs> way to... English? You are not great with Easy accents. way to swear in an English accent. Steven. Fuck off. Fuck off. Say it backwards. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck off. It doesn't make sense to me. Fuck It doesn't make sense. Right? Oof cough. No. Oof What do you mean oof? You're still missing Fuck all this off. off. Right. So... Okay, Th- I am so confused. So say it backwards. You. Yes, it 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 ends with. F- so you have to start with. F- you got to be able to spell to do it backwards. Yes. So f f o. Yeah. Is who? F- there you go. Oh, you got it right. And then Keep going. Not Sound it out. Sound it out. Big words. So that, then it's K C U F. Yeah. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Are you fucking French with? K, K- uh, maybe. All right. Fook. K C U F. Fook cuff. Fook off. Fook off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. How about that? Fuck off. I just love how I like say fuck off backwards. You're like oof. Oof cuff. Oof cuff. Fook off. Oof cuff. I, I, that's how I see it in my head. You see an O at the end. Oof off. <laughs> Fuck off as an O at the end of it. All right. <laughs> Apparently it's Either the same way. It. Well, Fuck off All right, join us oh, next week when <laughs> Frankie has, uh, Frankie has a spelling bee ch- uh, challenge against uh, two ten-year-old twins. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! My mind's on twins. Probably ten to one out. Oh, do that? oh no. You, that's going to be a segment. Join us next week. Can you guys do a spell of that's what we're doing. We're going to have to. Yes, it's getting we're gonna done. We're going to have to. I'll just pull in a seven-year-old. Are you smarter than a five-year-old? No, I am not. A five-year-old? You know believe that. You know what she'll like, spell? Her twins and my twelve. Fuck off. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she'll tell you to fuck off real quick. Super quick. Hey, guys. Those boys could fuck off. Oh, off fuck. Wait. Off cup. Oh. <laughs> no, uh, off. That's what... That's what Bella told those boys at the concert. All right, do your we, daughter. We got time for one more football question. Yeah. Yeah. Of the coaches that are available right now, right. who yeah. do you think will have the biggest impact on the team they sign with, uh, and why? And not not only that, but what team do you believe they're going to go to? Ooh, Urban Meyer's going to Dallas. You yeah, think, you think he's in a transition? Yeah. I, I think he's going to last one year like Nick Saban did <laughs> and be right back in college. I personally think, I mean, a coach is a pretty big deal. Yeah, absolutely. But I truly believe if you don't have a quarterback, you can go get fucked. Okay. I can see that too. But You could bring in Nick Saban to Joe Blow team whatever. doesn't matter. You can bring in Ron Rivera to Joe Blow team whatever. If they don't have a quarterback, he'll be fired in a couple years. Absolutely. Yeah. But find that quarterback. I think Ron Rivera Another though, question. is one of the nicest uh, you, you really didn't answer the question. You never named a, a <laughs> team one of available coaches to go to a team. That's what I said, Urban Meyer. I don't really know. I Jeff. mean, uh, what about McCarthy? You think McCarthy's going to land? No, I, 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 I don't. I, I he's think, not going to land a head coach job. No, because he's like one of the best quarterbacks in the league. I think everyone thinks that that was Rodgers. All Rodgers, I truly believe. <coughs> They're like, McCarthy's just over there eating cheese curds. and Right. Huck it, chuck it. I'm going to let him do what he does because he's great at what he does. And Go ahead, Steven. You have one of the best quarterbacks. What is it? We don't do charades around here. What do you? Hey, do you got some piss? What's up? I, You're so I antsy. Question. What's yeah. up? So, the Lions have a... Trash. Long line of, <laughs> Trash. of potential 
talent. Where? However, they have a there. There are a Aren't lot you a of Packers players. Fan? Yes, I am a Packers fan. My okay. question. sticking up for okay, her. Go ahead. Fan. No, this is true. No, okay. it's a legitimate question. Okay, go ahead. I'd like to hear. The Lions team does actually have a. Their roster is full of potential talent. However, mm-hmm. their last three coaches are. They were basically shit. So my question is, Patricia. with a lot Shorts. of these coaches up Patricia's that, not are, going that anywhere. are completely available, no. No. my question is, if they have this potential talent, what do you think would happen? You guys just said that Mike McCarthy, everybody thought it was just Aaron Rodgers. I don't personally believe that's true. He made a lot of mistakes. Mike McCarthy is a great coach. Overall, I think he's a great coach. What do you think would happen if the Lions, with their line, their all of this talent that they have, if they are in fact coached correctly? What do you think would happen if Mike McCarthy was Mike McCarthy would ruin that because that team isn't set up the way Mike McCarthy likes. Okay, and and I hear you, but could but why? I hear you, but why do you think that is? Because Mike McCarthy is. Past, he is the past. He is. If you can't he, figure it out with with the best quarterback in the NFL, in all honesty, you guys should have four fucking Super Bowls, right? And they they couldn't get the defense right, and and the Lions, as as I mean, the front office the talent of some of the guys like Matthew Stafford is a good quarterback, but he's injured. He's getting older. You look at a good young receiver and who's got six four size and Galladay. That's great, but then you got other guys. That are older Still don't like have Martin a running Jones. game. You don't have a running game. No. Carry on Johnson. Never I don't know he's going to come back from injury. Um, the defense has holes in the, the defense secondary. Has so many holes. No one's playing with Slay each other. Not the, 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 Slay's the, down a step. Yeah. No, it's not, it's not just about Detroit. It's yeah. It's McCarthy himself. Yeah. No, I don't think he's. He would not play with that team. Wait a minute. Did you guys just say that McCarthy screwed it up with the best quarterback in the league? Because I heard that and yeah, I want to go back. Yeah, I could do. Rodgers is. I'm a diehard Bears fan, and I will say Aaron Rodgers is a. Fucking great quarterback. At the time, I would agree with so that. Probably the greatest quarterback. Yeah, ever at the seen. time, right. But now, 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 he's barely top ten. Barely. Yeah, no, no, yeah. He, Actually, on the last, on the last Pro Football ranking, better than Trubisky. Yeah. He was ranked fourteenth. <laughs> Trubisky's ranked higher than Tom Brady, though, so we're not gonna start talking about them right now. Uh, right, just, and, and just calm your mean, jets. Okay? Yeah, you never know. And he's Tom fucking Brady's forty-seven great. years old. He's still Tom. Hey, goddamn. He's still Tom. Fall Tom Brady. Brady. The Packers went from Brett Favre to Aaron Rodgers, and they're very fortunate and lucky. Yeah. And Aaron Rodgers is an amazing quarterback, but I do yeah. believe that they should have more Super Bowls than they do. Um, I, I don't McCarthy's think that they've executed. better suited for college right now. I can really. see that. But right now he with, need, he needs to go to he needs to go to an SEC school and just go, go back as an offensive coordinator. I and if even I, with McCarthy never having an actual scrambling quarterback, you think he's he'll probably get to a, college uh, where the read option and there's, there's a lot schools, of options. yeah, but the, there's a lot of schools that don't run that. A lot of schools run pro style offense. He'll get a pro job. If I was going to say job. right now to answer Callum's question, I would say Ron Rivera probably has the best chances of getting a prime job He's the somewhere. most, I think he's the most he's established. He'll be the most sought after coach. I, I, I think it was a mistake letting him go big time. I oh, think, 100%. I, I don't think they're going to put him in the head Huge. coaching role. I think they're going to give him a DC job. No, Rivera? I don't think he no. will. Yeah, I don't think he'll, I think, I think he's such a, he was a, he's a, a great, he's a great coach, coach and people, I, people like him. Right, and in wow. a, a, a perfect fit for him or a good team for him. So was uh, Vic Fangio, but oh, no. well, yeah. he has no one on that offense though. Yeah, but look how great of a defensive coordinator. Maybe he's not. I, I like guys well, like Dick personal. LeBeau. Yeah. He was a defensive coordinator for, what, 60 fucking years? Right. Yeah. He could have got head coaching jobs, and he's like, he this is what I'm good at. Right. I'm, I'm just going to well, be I mean, shit, the Rob best. Rob still in the league coaching fucking defense. Yeah, yeah that's unbelievable. Yeah. Guys yeah, like he's that. Not really, that's he's trash. Really out there yelling at guys. Ron Mary. I mean, Patricia tried. I mean, you have to. If you have an opportunity to be a head coach, you have to take it. I but in my opinion, did he actually try? Because the only thing he's done is taken our defense from a mid-ranked defense down to the bottom three. Who yeah, but you still got the years. same yeah. same players. I mean, is there a lot of injuries? Well, I they mean, got rid of their best free safety. That it, eh. it all depends, it, it, man. Yeah, he's, it, he was your locker. He was one of your locker room yeah, leaders. Yeah, he. It's it all weird, is like, like Patricia. Pretty much gutted that team with that move. That's why well, it's they played Quinn. like shit. I think a good yeah, fit for Rivera would be the Cowboys, but he would never 
be there because he of Jones. Works. Yeah, Jerry Jones won't take him on. So Jerry I, Jones I is him. going after the biggest name he can. He's going after Urban Meyer. That I, uh, is probably correct. Hundred yeah. percent. Dude, he when fucking Jerry Jones got to fucking. But I don't yeah. know if that's going to mesh well either. It, it's hard to say. Uh, all the open coaching <laughs> positions, though, I think Ron Rivera would be a good fit for the Cowboys. But, like, a You team have to mesh. The coach has to mesh with the players. Like you said earlier about Lamar Jackson, Harbaugh put him. He coached him right. He took his strengths. Absolutely. I think Jeff Fisher ruined Vince Young right. back in the day. Jeff Fisher. I think Vince Who Young you could have been a great quarterback. What is what team did you just say? In you, your opinion, Ron Rivera going to the Lions. In your opinion, the Lions. I don't. I don't see the Lions, but I do see Atlanta. My, I think they. My question was in your Atlanta doesn't have a vacancy though. A good coach but they were the so Lions. bad. They they're good. They're good. They might. Potential. They might. Team. But well, the most popular the coach would be Rivera. I think he's the number one Prospect guy on the board. There, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah but the problem is with Ron Rivera, he needs that elite quarterback. Yeah. yeah, and I don't know how much Stafford's got left and in the tank. St- and sta- yeah. Stafford's got He's on that Tampa yeah. Bay with, with that back injury. I don't know how much he's either. Right. He might do a, a luck. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm out. That, and that's exactly what yeah. I'm thinking. You I know. mean, he's not. I, honestly, I don't believe he's going anywhere. I do think that they should have been able to retire Lions. Well, yeah. But he's going to do an Andrew Luck. He's going to just wake up one day and say, dude. Well, that's what all the Lions do. It's got Barry Sanders, Calvin Johnson. Calvin Johnson and him should have been able to put a team together. Well, Calvin also got screwed by the organization. Right. Yeah. In my opinion, he did. The thing with Stafford is he's got that Brett Favre mentality. He's a well, he's, 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 yeah. He could, he's got love, bro. But the pro, there's also another problem with him. He doesn't have a signature win. You know what scares no. me, though, is you know who he reminds me of? Tony Romo. And when Tony right. Romo started having his back injuries like yeah. he is now, I oh, think yeah. he might be done. Yeah, he's that, older. That. Stafford just has that one play where he got injured and he came back in. Where he dislocated, dislocated his shoulder, shoulder against Cleveland. And a touchdown. The, touchdown. Yeah. the game-winning touchdown. And he, could, like he, he like did. ran off the field with his arm just hanging there. Literally Crazy. hanging. That was his best moment. Don't even know how the hell he caught the snap on that one. but you got it out? No, I didn't, I didn't mean to direct that question directly at the Lions. I, no, I didn't. Yeah, no, no, I know. No, I just, Patricia's not going anywhere. You got to at least another year with Patricia. Yeah, I would say yeah. for sure for, with him there. Uh, but there's going to be a lot of turnover in the league this year, I think. Always, every year. Yeah, there it always is. So. Well, they say like half. I think, yeah, I think but I'm, third I'm, is like almost I'm every thinking year. of the, the teams that were bad this year are, are going Cowboys to. for sure. Cowboys. Cowboys. Kitchens <laughs> might be gone in, in Cleveland. <laughs> See, all that if talent. They, they in all honesty, though, if they went out, yeah, is Kitchens going to go? Right. Same thing with Atlanta. It's just like they we, were saying. We were calling for fucking Nagy's head earlier in the year. Right. Yeah. I, I'd say it's real scary to say, but Cleveland Browns, they got some talent. Yeah, and they, they do. put it together. Their, their roster sure. could be something. It could. Yeah, sometimes it don't work out. Look at the Lakers when they built that super team. Right. Well, and, and Gary team, Payton and, and Carl Malone. Carl Malone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all these guys. Sometimes it, do, it don't match. Years right. old. Yeah, well, yeah. they're all saying just because you have a superstar that they could work. Remember when the Eagles yeah, they signed they, like fucking? Uh, what the hell's the that guy's It was T.O. signing, and then uh, no, this was after when they signed. Uh, God, who the hell? The guy had a weird name. The cornerback oh, for uh, uh, the Raiders. Oh yeah, and, uh, Namdi Asamoah. They Namdi signed Asimwa. him, he, he and was, uh, he was they the best had big corner. In the yeah, league. they they signed like all these dudes. They had an amazing team, and, and they did nothing. Asimwa that year. Yeah. couldn't card a fucking car door. Well, that's the thing. That's another thing with About putting, coaching. Right, he wasn't a zone player. He was a man at man. I'm shutting you down. He was they Jalen Ramsey the before. Eagles. And they're like play zone, and he's, he's just wide. getting torched. Right. So yeah, it schemes using your players to their strengths is a huge coaching thing, and not only that though, it's keeping the morale and keeping the brotherhood and keeping the, you know, the the the. I'm, I'm gonna run through this brick wall for you. You know what I mean? And that's what football was back in the day. But you know, we don't like to talk football on this podcast, so. I love football. I do. I think we're at that time, right? Oh, yeah. Should be <laughs> close to yeah. another week of the Gentleman's Den. Can't wait Thank for you guys. Tomorrow. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your mother. <laughs> <laughs> tell your father. Tell your, friends, tell your mother. <laughs> Mothers normally enjoy this podcast. My mom loves it. Well, that's great. Fuck it. <laughs> she listens every week. 
That's how late of a night it is here at the gentleman's. Dead. Is that a Ooh. pussy? That is a pussy. It's a cat. The cat's loose. Pussy just ran right out. Loose is loose. <laughs> All right, and this once again, this podcast is brought to you by shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the dash gentleman's dash den. For all of your Gentleman's Den merch needs. Get some gifts. It's going to be Christmas, bitches. And make sure to get out and get those fuck facts. Fuck facts. <laughs> yeah, the gift is me being here. That's the gift I'm giving away. Call me Santa Claus. Here's Chewbacca Banana. <laughs> Chewy. 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 All right, we'll see you next week, nice. folks. Beautiful. For another yeah, beautiful Maine Coon. For <laughs> get him up there, huh? <laughs> Wonderful edition of the gentleman's. Chewbacca banana. Thanks a lot, y'all.